Hello there, internet. Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. Today's background is fitting, as we are going to be playing some Jinx alongside Lulu in a deck featuring many tinies who become huge. I'm going to talk about Biggie Smalls, which is a deck that I know a lot of you have had your eyes on on my videos for a bit, since the deck is up there in my... Uh, deck list and uh, I've, I've seen comments of people asking about this build I didn't want to showcase it because I didn't feel like it was ready but ever since the picks buff happened this patch which yes I'm uploading a video with the new patch changes I know I said I did it in the prior video but I decided to wait and record a little bit later today so hopefully you guys enjoy some post past uh, post past <laughs> English some post patch action here as we do have buffed picks and buffed picks goes a long way. So the idea of this deck is we have Lulu and Jinx combined together, which may seem a little bit weird, right? You guys are used to seeing Lulu with Demacia, right? Because Lulu with F uh, Fleet Feather Tracker and other challengers is just too good not to play. And Demacia just has a really good package of uh support units anyways and also because of the high abundance of challenger units within within the region uh the likes of the young witch also synergizes super well with uh demacia too but in this case we're not playing young witch and we're combining lulu with a very uh, heavily packed uh, piltover and zon list because we are trying to actually go a little bit overboard with uh, value gain with Lulu as Lulu has something, a very similar ability to a spell that exists in Piltover and Zon, and that is Suit Up. Suit Up is a four mana burst speed spell that when drawn, cost only two mana and it sets an ally to four four now naturally a card like this really shines when utilized on a unit that is very very understated or very weak in general so both suit up and lulu kind of do the same thing if you if you think about it and i really like the idea of combining lulu with suit up in a piltover deck because there's a lot of very cool targets for these effects in, within these two regions specifically within uh, Piltover, as the first one that comes to mind is Flame Chompers. Being able to convert Flame Chompers from an 0-2 Challenger to a 4-4 Challenger with Lulu or Suit Up is really strong. And one of the perks that Flame Chompers has over the likes of the uh, Fleet for the Tracker is not only the two health allowing it to survive pings, but also the fact that we can get this guy or this thing really on the board at burst speed through discard mechanics such as rummage or even the likes of poro cannon we can also get it on the board early on on turn one with zonad yurchin as well so as we develop our board we uh, have discard synergies here to really start getting some really strong tempo get a bunch of little dudes on the board and then proceed to buff them through lulu and suit up as because our curve is so low and uh, we deplete our hand really quickly we have jinx as a late game win condition to start throwing rockets at the opponent until they die that's kind of like how jinx operates really pretty straightforward but very fun nonetheless. We also have a couple of augmented experimenters to support Jinx a little bit. A great top deck for when we depleted our hand, a great way to level up Jinx, and also a great way to refuel our hand a little bit as well. Really good card to run alongside discard Jinx based decks, and uh, really good uh, card in this deck as well for those reasons. A full set of Mystic Shot and get excited to get more direct damage at the opponent, but also a good way to have some interaction with the opposing board and uh, destroy certain units, remove them, get them out of the way as we're also playing the likes of intrepid mariner this card may seem a little bit bizarre in the list because you probably have never seen this card being played before and in this deck it actually puts in the work because it allows us to give elusive to either pix or lulu as we attack and that's that's generally one of the biggest weaknesses that uh, lulu decks have if the opponent is able to match up your board generation early on and they have good blockers attacking with lulu to get the support effect off can be easier said than done because of how she's not really the biggest three drop right anything with three attack can take her down so uh, by giving her elusive, we prevent the opponent from blocking into her, and the same can be said about picks, and therefore we can use Mariner to sponge the attacks and get a free attack off, while we at the same time work for the Lulu level up, as we have another support unit. We are running this over Young Witch in this deck, because if you look at it, we don't really have any challengers besides Flame Chompers, and Flame Chompers doesn't really benefit too much from a plus one quick attack 
uh, grant or, you know, temporary buff, right? It just doesn't really go anywhere. It's not like Flea Feather Tracker, which has two attack and goes from two to three with quick attack with Challenger, which is a very big deal. So naturally, uh, us having more, providing more resilience to our key support attackers through Elusive with the Intrepid Mariner is overall more valuable than uh, playing the likes of Young Witch in this build. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the deck list right there. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Just just dump your hand, go wide as much as you can, get some key supports going off, and then as you run out of steam, Jinx comes in, you shoot rockets, and you win. It's a pretty wacky deck. It's very fun and surprisingly competitive. I have a really strong live recording session that I, I did right after the patch hit. I'm recording this like, uh, like we're it's 8 p.m. right now. So today's upload may be a little bit later than usual because I may not have enough time to render uh, it on time. Regardless, it's definitely worth it. I think you guys are gonna enjoy the games today and hopefully you appreciate the double uploads and we'll be back at it tomorrow with some more decks. Uh, I'm gonna think about some sort of counter to Lee Sin that goes beyond just Frostbites because I did make a solid Frostbite deck very recently. Uh, check out the Ash Misfortune deck if you wanna like play with a deck that could do well against Lee Sin right now. Uh, and that's basically where I'm going to leave it at. Have a sole day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. I do post a new deck every single day. So leave a like, subscribe. It helps out the channel. It's free. Also free. It's good. And my English is all over the place. So I'm going to stop talking. Have a good one. Enjoy the games. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right, let's go. And right off the bat, we face Ash. I wonder why that is. Pretty sure it has nothing to do with Lee Sin, right? Okay, so we uh, we have one drop to two drop to three drop here with Lulu at the end, which is really neat. I think I'm gonna mulligan away the Mystic Shot actually, in hopes to find uh, one of my discard outlets. All right, another Mystic Shot. There we go, and we got a little pet here. Oh, that is super duper kawaii. That's 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 great. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting something more dynamic, but I'll take it. All right, let's drop the Intrepid Mariner. And uh, I guess we're developing Lulu here. Into... A calling strike? Hopefully not. That is a little bit annoying. I mean, if he wants to, he could have a a, a bird of steel here. So I do. I want to sacrifice the intrepid mariner. I don't think I do, especially when I have mystic shots here. I'm gonna pass here. This Ryan Fang Wolf definitely does stop us in our tracks. I love this. I'm gonna go for a Mystic Shot onto the Wolf here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not happening. I'll take this hit. Got up the Zanite Yurchin with the Challenger here, which we can utilize alongside Lulu to take down Ash. That's completely fine. As we aim to do this, into this, into this, into this. He needs a flash freeze here, which we could end up seeing here. All right. The time is right. Strike now. It's fine. Bury me at sea. We do get a little bit of damage on him. Always seeking new horizons. Time to move. 
first big mission. Okay. Unload a little bit more. Let's hope for no. Oh my god, if he has a reckoning, we're we're actually screwed. <laughs> if he has a reckoning, we're so dead. Oh dear god. I had, I had to operate like this though. Okay, it seems like we're we're gonna see a reckoning here. Okay, oh thank god. <laughs> <laughs> I totally did not freak out there. All right, augmented experimenter is really neat here. The answer is here. It's somewhere. You already played one elixir of iron. All right, you could play another one. I wonder. Did you see picks and the cannons? All right. I don't think he can really afford to attack with Ash here unless he has another Frostbite, which he does. Stand together. My aim is true. I will block with the Jury Rig here. He is running out of gas, fortunately. But it seems like we will have to. Do we have to open attack here? I think I, I think I would like to like Mystic Shot this, especially before he gets to play something like a Triggering Assessor. I don't think we have to open attack at all. Uh, I, I have double. Faster than my okay. arrow? I think not. Time to move. My first big mission. Let's can encourage him to block in multiple ways. But we're looking at quite a bit of damage here. The thing is, I want to keep the Poro cannon. I think. Let's go with this. Dropping down. I want to keep these two because I could top deck something like a rummage, for example. I mean, now we have jury rig. pass here my opponent needs to do something like a reckoning okay was not expecting a shatter but I guess shatter is a decent uh, I, I this is a pretty good tech for Lee Sin as it technically one shots him right we're gonna play picks I could go for the Poro cannon immediately but I don't want to play into a reckoning here like I'm actually pretty uh, afraid of that if he had a reckoning though, he could have just opened past here, right? If he does, he has the ability to block here, and then I can, hmm, like, frostbite to do a lot of damage. But that reckoning could be brutal. I'm gonna pass here. I'm, I'm gonna respect the reckoning. Okay, that's super tempting. He's, he's passing immediately. He must have a shitload of frostbites. I gotta do things right though. That's a very, like that means he has like a lot of frostbites in hand. Which means we may as well get them out of him, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna attack with you. You, you, and we're gonna drag you here. I mean, if we do it like this and he blocks there, he needs, he needs more than, a harsh winds is enough. I'm gonna go with this. These are our lands. 
Plus tío. Again, I don't want to play into a reckoning. We got the lethal here, but just in case, we, we want to see what the last card is. Monkey to the face. Monkey for the win. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love Lulu. Uh, Lulu forever. This tank is putting in the work. Uh, I, I played a little bit before recording, and it, it's doing it's doing some good stuff. Um, I I definitely like how I played that. Even though I could have pushed for lethal uh, by developing Lulu, you always have to respect you know the big the big boy plays, right? And him him not playing any units me, meant his entire hand was comprised of spells. So playing into reckoning would be absolutely devastating. And the cool thing about our hand is that if our opponent did have a reckoning, if he didn't if he did not have uh, frost bites on top of that, I could have developed the other. Uh, Poro into my Lulu and given the the Poro 5-5 five, five stat line which will require a frostbite in response So yeah, I think I played that pretty well pretty safe and uh, you know We just biggie smalls for the win and that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and we'll play some more Okay, I Guess somebody's trying out the new bastion and it's not you not using Lee Sin in the process. I, I gotta you know respect that. I'm gonna keep Lulu here, obviously. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna keep the Mystic Shot. I'm gonna drop the Poro Cannon for sure. I'm gonna drop the Mystic Shot as well. I wanna en enhance my chances of finding a uh, discard outlet here for for Yurkin. I think I may be inclined to drop the Poro. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the Poro Cannon. Just cycle to my deck here. Okay, we do find you, but uh, not really going to resort to rummage just yet. We're gonna carry over the spell mana. As we do see a young witch, so our opponent is having a, a pretty solid curve here, and I, I can't even talk because it won't let me. I like this rummage now. Let's see what he does. Could just go for an open attack. The thing about uh, picks here. Okay. I have a blocker for picks. We take a relatively big hit here, but I'd, I'd rather preserve my board. Get a little bit of damage back as we clear their main support target. Young Witch is pretty threatening, naturally. That's pretty threatening too, but we do have Lulu's Whimsy. Um, I think I want to play Jinx though. I want to. I want to. I definitely want to develop Jinx. <laughs> Because uh, I, I really, really want to get the level up going. This way. Oh. Come on, rib. Okay, that's pretty nasty. We don't have to worry about rally effects, though. So as long as we use this here, we're fine. I can always whimsy uh, in a pinch, but 
I'm not going to resort to that. Unless I absolutely have to. We're going to play uh, Picks. And then we are going to aim to develop the Intrepid Mariner. I'm ready to shine. Cool story, bro. Look ahead, not behind. Because this will, this will allow us to level up uh, Lulu here. And we're going to aim for that. Yes. We're going to go for... First of all... We're going to attack with... You here. I should want to go with this. Nothing stops adventure. Smile, it's called gunplay. Help the poor. They won't like this. Less thinking, more pure. And here we see the rarely seen pit. She's super cute. Yeah! <laughs> Tremendo! Tremendo! You know, that, that means. Uh, amazing in Spanish? Not exactly, but it's <laughs> similar. Tremendo! I love it. We do have uh, Whimsy for defense here. Though, to be fair, we... Hope crystallizes. Okay, that's a bit of a no-no, though. I'll become who I was always meant to be. I hope I don't die to the elusive young witch. Where are you going, Pick? What do you do? Look, Lou, I made a picks too. Hello. He's gonna be super happy. I'm gonna target you. Something. And I'm gonna drop the experimenter to eliminate the elusive unit. Level up Jinx, have Jinx with a barrier which allows me to block with her. And we get a get excited as well, which is really neat. Now all of their attackers are just purely they're all grounded, right? So That is fun, huh? <laughs> it's so fun. All right, that's a lot of stats, boy. All right, we gotta we gotta use you here. And uh, what else? What else? What else? We have to eliminate you. So blocking you with this, this. We want to block with you here. This means we'll lose one body, which we can replenish anyways. Um, and then we can utilize. Yeah, this is fine. Block that. Use this. Go for that. As it seems we're going to be able to... Alright. Got it. Ha ha ha! I wanted to... I, I love the Jinx voice plan. <laughs> I was really over that. Alright, round three! 
Alright, as we're facing Sizwani Swain. Definitely not not running into some of the meta decks that I was I was expecting, and that's always a great sign, don't get me wrong. But certainly unexpected. We see turn one picks potential here. I'm gonna keep the rummage alongside the jury rig. Can lead to very good things. Um I like do I like the Interpret Mariner? I'm gonna drop the Interpret Mariner, yeah. For now. Because it's not like I have a, a good curve into her anyways. We're gonna play picks and uh, we're gonna do nothing. <laughs> but at least, you know, that two health can go a long way. Especially because we can definitely expect this player to be running stuff like... Uh, Ember Maiden, for example. Okay. No, I can't do that and that, unfortunately. I definitely want to make use of this. I'm gonna play uh, Lulu here. We could see a ravenous flock. No, no ravenous flock is really neat. Mm, another push for Sejuani level up is definitely not where we want to be. So I'm gonna do this to prevent to prevent the progression for for Sejuani. I'm gonna carry over my mana. Use the other Daring Poros as, as a discard outlet, potentially. I'm gonna head over with this attack. I'm gonna level up Jinx here, even if it is at the cost of uh, sacrificing uh, my Lulu in a way because he's very weak at this point, very vulnerable. But this gives me extra card draw and allows me to refuel. Alright, I can't enable the rocket unfortunately, but I can start spreading out. Take the hit. Unfortunately, we uh, we have run out of gas here. Okay, that's pretty neat. We're gonna play the flame chompers. We got it. We gotta go in. Our opponent's still far away from leveling up uh, her, and I think uh, we gotta go about it like this. We gotta drag you out of the way, and uh, then we gotta see what we hit him with. So first of all, we're gonna attack with you on to you. And then you... So this represents a lot of damage here. He will definitely block. Let's talk about your with the 3-3 three, three here. And we're also going to wait to see his pings here.
We just haven't quite... We just haven't been able to quite get the damage in. We do see Jinx there, though. Alright, Jinx is about the as good as a top deck we could get. Destination in sight. Bye -bye. Fire! Fight for your lives! At this point, it doesn't, like, he's gonna go for an open attack anyway, so I shouldn't play the Intrepid Marina. Just because I'm dead to an open attack regardless. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely dead to an open attack. Which means, if I top deck a rummage, having an extra card to fish for the lethal is more important. Because I need to kill him at fast speed. Alright. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, perfect. The uh, two more points and we would have been in heaven, man. <laughs> I'm 12. Okay. Wow, yeah, that definitely uh was looking really tough and uh we lucked out naturally. That Jinx top deck was just godly and uh finding that that source of damage without them having one of their own obviously like they are more limited in that regard like it, it has to be either death's hand or noxian fervor pretty much so it's not like their deck is filled with with cards like that right like they're not playing bilgewater specifically so uh yeah <laughs> we fucking did it all right let's play more okay some vimer with targon definitely uh, an archetype that I want to dwell into myself because, or delve into English. Because with the new Bastion, uh, it looks really, really promising. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mulligan everything in hopes to finding Zonide Yurchin and a bit of a better curve. Because Intrepid Marina, there we go. I'm always gonna prioritize the flame chompers, even though it represents less damage early on. <laughs> Just because it's harder to put out there. This suit up, it sucks that it's in our opening hand, but it's still still useful. And look at that one. That one's that was even better. That one's even better. We are going to pump up this flame chomper with a suit up. And then, if our opponent wants to not do anything still, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let him at it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Our entire hand is spell, so we don't we don't need to do anything now. So as because our plays are available at burst speed, I think I like the idea of uh, a jury rig into you. Six. Getting a little bit of prior damage as we have a bunch of ways to just start shooting at our opponent. What seems to be the problem? 
Oh, the problem is, Heimerdinger, you gotta go. The problem with the problem with this is Bastion just puts him out of range, and that takes away like pretty much all of my. Oh, that means I have to resort to everything, man. Yeah, I kind of, I, I, I may just like have been better off. I think this is a mistake. I can still knock it out with two, with two mystic shots, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it just does not feel good. I think I have to though. But yeah, that's messed up. The, the plus one, plus one right there. The plus one, plus one right there just makes it so that I, I have to waste an extra card onto it. Which is definitely an issue. You could have sun. I don't want to play Jinx because that could have baited him. Like, if he has another uh, Sun card. And Jinx can allow me to clear this board as well with a rocket. <laughs> but that, that Bastion was insane. That Bastion was absolutely insane. It's pretty good right there. If I if I ping you, that's a that's a random four drop unit. If I ping you this turn, if I if I go for the get excited here, I I, I lose Jinx, which is a big problem. I don't think I can afford that. But what if he has a thermo beam? The problem is if he has a thermo beam, he 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 kind of like does it anyways. This allows me to hit him for three, drop him down, basically drop him down to four. Drop him down to four, but then he has a blocker for my four one, which makes me have to top deck my way out of this. So I, I think I think I have to try to see. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna drop this into that. Like, I don't want to drop this into a thermogenic beam, basically. What once was two, now is one. What the hell? Oh, Flash Rebellions made that. That's, that's, that's insane. All right. I mean, he's gonna gain the health anyways. I, I don't know how I'm gonna win this. Like, I can play this. I take a bigger hit anyways. I gotta see if I can find uh, a way to kill here. Hmm. 
Lulu doesn't quite cut it here, I think. I just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Real tough, aren't you? Back heretic. GG. Good game. That, uh, that pull with Flash of Brilliance and the fact that he was able to enable it like that, that, that was, uh, that was interesting, uh, honestly. Uh, but I, I, I think, I think the biggest thing definitely was the Bastion. Um, in hindsight, I could have definitely, like, just ignored the Heimerdinger. I, 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 I definitely misplayed there. I got trigger happy. I just wanted to like showcase. It, it, part of me just wanted to show how how insane Bastion is now that it gives plus one plus one because I had to deplete my entire hand. But I, I should have gotten faced with that. I definitely could have played that game better. But it's also a, a, a good way to showcase, you know, the power of Bastion. You have to respect Bastion and you have to take it into account. And uh, Heimerdinger with Targon now with Bastion support is definitely very interesting and something that I, I want to jump in soon as well. Trundle Anivia. I would assume it's like just ramp, but with Anivia instead of Trindamir. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan everything except for one Lulu here. As we don't want suit up in our opening hand, and we also don't want rummage without any sort of discard outlets either. We see turn one picks here. It would be nice to find another unit to support that. Or that. That's good too. That's good too. Here I am. Here is. I'm playing uh, Lulu here as we're threatening a lot of damage. If our opponent wants to. Uh... Okay. He may have an avalanche. That could be an indication of an avalanche. Yep. Alright. Come on in! Come on in! <laughs> Let's get rid of this body here, as we are going to make use of picks again. Who's gonna close up? Ugh, I love that line. Who's going to close up? Ugh. <laughs> oh, Tavern Keeper. Uh, oof. The, problem, the problem with developing Lulu here is that another, another avalanche just does its, does its dirty, basically. I'd rather do this. This allows us to push damage anyways. And does keep our Flame Chompers out of Avalanche range, as he just does go for that, which is fine. Now we'll play Lulu. As we have a uh, double Experimenter, unfortunately. Not really the kind of card you want to see here when you're about to play one of these. Interesting. He needs a, a vile feast here to deal with that. Strike them down. I'm on the verge of something. I really like the art of the skill. All right. That, that suit up, even though it's going to go up in, in, in price here, is definitely great. We're not going to play with fire, and uh, we're going to go for an open attack here. We do want to lead off with picks first. I've to do. 
I don't really mind uh, this. But I mean, to be fair, my opponent is going to uh, be able to block with this anyways. We can't overcome it because otherwise he could just ruination us. Alright. We're okay with that. We, we have suit up. I like this rummage right here. The trolls are going to war. That's pretty excellent. Because for six mana now, I don't see how he can uh Dragon, we go face. Yep. Face is away. Face is a place. We're, uh. We're gonna be giving you. Yeah. Giving this barrier so that Grasp of the Undying doesn't really uh, kill here. And then going for the suit up on the Zonad Yurchin. To get him clean. Woo! GG, brother. Uh, <laughs> I failed with Evo. <laughs> okay, bye! Oh. Ah, well, I, I got it wrong. <laughs> Anticlimatic! Nintendo 64. I like that rank. All right, that, that does it for today's video. That's, uh, that's a good live, man. We got, we got a lot of games, and this deck put in the work. You can definitely notice the buff to picks, man. Like, there's so many instances in which I, I felt so much more comfortable with this card just because of the extra health. Like, not, not having, like, die immediately to, like, Vile Feast or, or shit like that. It's just so valuable. And this deck is pretty fun, man. It's it's actually surprisingly strong. It's so like high tempo. And I just love playing Jinx, man, and Lulu. Really, really, really proud of this build. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a like for Biggie Smalls. Come on now. It helps out the channel and all that stuff too. But Biggie Smalls, man, it's Biggie Smalls. Do it for him. You know, he's bigger now. He's important. And yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the matches. I'll see you tomorrow.